Others have easy going. They only have to be better than the others. We always have to be better than Portia. That's how it was in developing the new Boxster, too. After all, it has a predecessor already widely regarded as a classic. Just going out onto the test track and optimizing a bit here and there, that definitely would not have filled the bill. It takes more to reinvent the sports car among the roadsters. So we set ourselves new goals, sporting goals. And then we drew up a plan, the training plan, so to speak. We call it the spec sheet. The spec sheet may have been a little more voluminous than your usual training plan, but then our development objectives were considerably more ambitious. True, our designers may not always have the perfect washboard abdominals, but they know how to put them on a roadster and how to make an athlete a champion athlete. Everyone knew what the challenge was. No fiddling around, no halfway solutions. As time went by, the contours became clearer, more grown up, more muscular. Fiber for fiber, we tweaked out the lines. Definitely Porsche, definitely new, definitely different than the 911. So the fine tuning began with precise definition of every detail. Cool, calm collection, with care, with brutal time pressure. Meanwhile, months had passed. Time had come to see initial results. Time for the wind tunnel. Was phase one successful? It turned out that we were on the right path, even if it didn't lead back to wife and child. Instead, back to the design studio. In other phases, it wasn't appearance that mattered, just performance, pure power. Where it originates was clear from the start, from the middle of the Boxster. Nothing to improve there. But how it originates, here we had plenty of potential. In the engine, in ourselves. With constant measurement, comparisons, testing, optimizing the plan, you slave away for months for a couple of extra horsepower. And only at the finish will it be seen if the plan was effective. When all steps, all phases deliver an optimal overall result. Till then, the order of the day would be one more horsepower, please. From day one, the Boxster has been synonymous with pure agility and sporting spirit. And that went for the new model, too. Likewise, from day one, nothing should change there. So we had to change a lot. The weeks flew by. The farther we got, the farther we wanted to go. Could the Boxster chassis actually be further improved? After all, even Porsche engineers are only human, but perhaps they march to a different drum. So we redesigned the chassis. Control systems and reaction times were accelerated. Action sequences endlessly repeated. That's the only way that rough response becomes precision response. The only way that power becomes grace and the weather more or less irrelevant. Then when it came to safety, we had to call in reserves, mostly our own, but also those of the body and the interior. When the new Boxster then drove into the crash wall in the final test, it came out looking a lot better than we did. Perhaps because by then we were pretty burned out. Perhaps because the Boxster passed all tests with flying colors. And what about the environment? Here we have a wealth of experience, which is not to say that we have rested on our laurels. We've further reduced fuel consumption and emission figures too, so when we found time to take a breather during the project, the air was definitely fresh. We tortured the car. 
and discovered our own limits. At times, we had to grin about the headlines in fitness magazines. More muscles in 10 days. More miles in 10 days were a lot tougher. We often neglected our better halves. Private life had to take a back seat during those months. Keep on going. The clock is ticking. And the same questions over and over. Will we reach the targeted goal? Does the car have everything needed to cope with the stress? It does. The goal is reached. The time has come. The big day is here. We faced the challenges, the sacrifices. Gone so many miles and perhaps an extra mile. The new Boxster has even more sporting spirit, inside and out. The sports car among the roadsters. Only then were we satisfied. And now, now it's time for a vacation, a quick one.